Hello folks and finally welcome back to another how to play video here on my YouTube channel. Before we look at the song I have to tell you that I made a mistake. Yes, I made a mistake on my very first how to play video. It was the video uh, of how to play Thousand Fold by Elevati. I made a mistake there while explaining the ornamentation because I explained you four different ornamentations. I explained you the tap, the strike, the roll and the slide. And actually a tap and a strike is the same. The strike that I was explaining is actually a cut. I'm really sorry about that, but just keep in mind for the uh, for the new videos that I'm doing that the sign that you see in the flute box is not a strike, it is a cut. And actually the cut is the grace note that you play above the melody note. So it's, um, it's the same ornamentation, but it just has another name. So just keep in mind that I made a little mistake there and I'm really, really sorry, um, but that can happen to everyone, right? Okay, so today we are looking at another Elevati song and today we are uh, taking a song from the new album Ateknatos. Today we are, ta we are taking a look at Ambiramos. I think it's the most pop song from Elevati from the new album. Um, so I think um, get ready, grab your whistle and let's do it! So actually for the song Ambiramos you need a whistle in the key of C sharp and yes this whistle is not really common and um, probably you don't have it but you can uh, practice this song with any other whistle you just can't play it together with a backtrack um, but if you can get one of these whistles some whistle makers make them especially some kind of a special uh, order or something like this um, so if you can get a C-sharp whistle, um, you should get one because a lot of Illowati songs are played in this key. For example, the solo of Call of the Mountain and also the solo of Meet the Enemy and some other um, Illowati songs are written in this kind of key. Um, so if you can get a, a whistle in the key of C-sharp, um, you should take the chance and get one, yes, of course. Um, so, okay, let's take a look at the really first part um, of the melody, because actually it's only the melody that we play with the whistle in the song. Um, so, actually, let's take a look at the first part of the melody. I give you a little advice, you should really try to learn the melody part first, really slowly, as I show you how to play it. Um, cause the song is actually not hard to play, I mean hard to understand, because the melody is not so hard to remember, it's really catchy and stuff, but the, the speed of the song uh, makes it really difficult. So um, it took me also some time to learn that song. Um, so just slow down and practice slow, and when you, when you feel comfortable enough and stuff, you can speed it up step by step, also, you can use a metronome or stuff um, for just um, practice it better and for learn it better. Okay, so let's take a look at the really uh, first part of the melody part and it goes like this. Once again for you, also this song of course is not for beginners anymore, it's for people that already uh, know how to play ornaments and stuff, so I'm not explaining so much on the ornaments, you will just see it in the flute box and um, yeah, just let's try to play this part again. So this was the first part of the melody and um, yep, just practice it slow and let's go to the part number B. So the part B also starts with the same kind of notes and it goes like this. Once again for you. So this is uh, part B and now just let's try to combine part A and part B together.
And actually, this was already the first half of the melody, and now let's jump to the second part of the melody, and after that you're already done. Okay, so let's see the second part of the melody. Okay, and the second uh, part of the melody goes like this. Once again. So this was part A of the second half of the melody and now we are jumping to the um, part B of the second half of the melody and it's actually the ending. Once again. Yes, and this was actually the ending and now let's try to play the whole second half all together. Once again. And actually that was all. This was actually the whole uh, melody part and actually the only thing you have to remember in the whole song for the whistle. Um, okay, so now uh, let's try to play the melody part once again slow and after that I will play it together on full speed with a backtrack together just to, um, just to remind you how fast it is and how much you should practice to master this song. Uh, so actually, uh, let's take a look on the slow part first. So now let's play the whole melody part slow and after that with a backtrack together. So this was actually the whole melody part in the slow version, just keep in mind to practice slowly and now I will show you how to play the song on full speed together with a backtrack.
So actually, this was the whole song Ambi Ramos by Elevate I really hope that you also enjoyed that tutorial. And if you like it, please give it a like, share it to your other whistle friends, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet for more information, for more videos, for more tutorials, for just everything. And um, yeah, I hope that we see us uh, for the next time. And um, yeah, see you.